Hello everyone, I'm Farmer Sim and welcome to Pelaney by MA7 Studios. Now this map is for all platforms, PC players and console players alike, and at the risk of using overly dramatic adjectives to describe this map, it is exquisite if you ask me. It is an absolute masterpiece, work of art. <laughs> it's a beauty, it really is. Um, I've been wandering around for a little while now, wondering where to start and what to what pointers to, to bring up, and it's, there's just so many things to mention. I mean, this is where the game starts you off. I mean, new farmer mode, um, firstly. Uh, this is where you start off in uh, at the very beginning when you jump into the map in front of this lovely monument, the monument to the creators of France. Obviously, as you can see from the flagpole there, it is a French map based in France. We are next to this lovely church with stained glass windows. We've got this lovely water feature here next to us. Um, but as I say, I've just been stuck for where to start. I mean, just wandering back over here, you can see this lovely child's play area here. Lovely little walkway that takes you down there to some steps into the village. I've just not known where to start with it and which direction to go in. But uh, before we do go anywhere, I'll, tell, I'll wander a little bit away from the uh, the chiming church bells, as it were. So they're not ringing in your ears, quite literally. But yeah, I mean, look at the place. It's absolutely gorgeous. Don't you agree? Very authentic. If you are if you are looking for a, a very highly detailed, rich, authentic European or French style map, this is absolutely 100% for you. It really is. So, before we go anywhere, as I say, I'm just going to get out of the way of the uh, the noise of the French of the the church bells. Sorry. So I, I'm just going to read a bit of the uh, description from the mod hub. Uh, it says, uh, "Welcome to the French Lorraine." Shared between agricultural plains and wooded groves, rediscover agriculture, livestock and forestry. This map consists of two typical farms of the region, one in an old farmhouse with modern extensions, the other a large agricultural building perched on a mountainside. Numerous new factories are available, a completely new village gathers points of sale, farms and production facilities. This map consists of 86 fields of crops, about 10 forest plots, and a stream called the Dubion. Several innovations come with this map. The roofs of houses get wet during the rain, the roads get wet and dry and frost over in winter, you may see puddles of water in certain fields, some factories have new functions like the sawmill or the mills, there's two new agricultural cooperatives, there are new crops such as mustard, triticale and alfalfa, there's a, a crane for transporting wood to the sawmill or to the Fritodis centre, there's an area to build your own farm. There's cheese production directly on the farm or in the communal dairy. There is a secret quest about the history of a funny animal from the Vosges. And a whole multitude of new decors like the mechanic, the Plas dealership, the livestock trader and the water tower, etc. And this map also works with FS22's manure system. So, that's the, uh, the blurb, if I can call it that, from the description on the Giants Mod Hub. So... And as I said, I've started in new farmer mode, and in new farmer mode, obviously you start with one of the two starter farms, so let's very quickly jump into the map PDA, and we'll see it from above. So, here we are in the map PDA. As you can see, we are kind of slap bang in the middle here in the town centre, and this area here is our starter farm. If I pop into the farmland menu, as you can see, we've got a decent uh, area, a decent portfolio of land that comes with us in uh, new farmer mode obviously we've got this area here which consists of the farm yard uh, all the sheds and stuff and uh, also one field as well as you can see there field 99 uh, we also own another one two three four five six seven eight plots of land and across those plots of land we've got a nice wide variety of crops we've got uh, triticale in field nine here for example we've got an empty field field 19 here to start with we have uh, what I believe is the smallest field on the map, field 21. This has a an area of 0.28 hectares. So the field sizes are really quite nice, I feel. They range from, what, I, as I say, what I think is the smallest on the map, field 21 there, all the way up to field 82 here, which has an area of 9.83 hectares. So uh, everything in between, between that one and that one. But as you can see, it's a really nice layout, really nice uh, a variety of field shapes and sizes now this map in my personal opinion is solely for the use of small to medium size uh, tractors and machines a john deere x9 does not belong on this map if you ask me far too big uh, but as i say in new farmer mode 
we've got a nice uh, a nice portfolio of land and it's nicely uh, spread out as well so it gives you the opportunity straight off the bat to uh, to go out and explore and have a bit of a drive around and uh, see the local area so we've got uh, as I say in field nine here we've got triticale now I don't know if this is different for everyone when we start them up I'm not too sure but uh, I'll read out what I've got to start off with here anyway in field nine here we have triticale as I said before, field 19 here is empty, so you've got an empty field there to, uh, to go and plant your own crops in if you wish. Uh, field 20 here has a has mustard in, one of the uh, the new crops to this map. Field 21 here is barley. Field 25 down here is wheat. Field 71 up here is soybeans. Fields 88 and 90 here is grass. And field 99, which is the one right next door to the farmyard here, is also wheat. And obviously they are go into the growth menu there uh, spread out in various stages of growth the grass isn't ready to go yet but we do have the triticale the mustard and what else have we got oh forgive me this one that this one is uh harvested so that's that, that is an empty field as well um field 99 here is ready to harvest so that's all good great stuff if you ask me so i think we should uh, go and have a look at the new farmyard don't you think Right, so wandering up the street here from where we were before, the buildings that you see on the right in front of us here with those big grey doors, that is our starter farm. How authentic and lovely does that look? It really is quite something. Now, those, all these doors open, these big grey ones and these little ones here all open as well, but I'm going to take you through what, I've, what I think is the, the, the nicest entrance of the farm. There is also an entranceway down the side here, just down the, down the lane. It takes you into the farm uh, and this is out at the starter farmhouse there as you can see we've got the sleep trigger uh, again beautifully authentic uh, french farmhouse if you ask me um, but check that out for an entrance to a farm <laughs> how amazing is that it really is quite something so let's open the doors and have a quick look at the farmyard but before we go into uh, wandering around the farmyard i shall jump in to show you the starter equipment Right, okay, so you start off with, in new farmer mode, you've got a couple of small tractors. We have the Case Maximum CVX-115 at 145 horsepower, and you have the Klaas Arian 660 at a slightly greater 205 horsepower. You start with the base game Ross Solmash Nova 330 Harvester. You start with the base game Pickup Truck. We have the Klaas Carrot 140 TD Trailer. Obviously the header for the Harvester, we've got the... Uh, Agromars 5 furrow POV5 plow, 2.5 meters wide. We have the Lemkin, goodness me, I'm struggling to pronounce that, Smaragd 9500K 5 meter wide cultivator. Now we have the uh, Amazon Centaya 3000 Super Seed Drill, 3 meters wide. We have got the Bredel K105 fertilizer spreader for solid and lime. We have got the Kuhn GMD 4411 mower, 4.4 meters wide. We have the Kuhn GA 4731, 4.7 meter wide windrower. We've got a baler, the Pottinger Impress 125F Pro. We have ourselves the FarmTech DPW 1800 low load trailer. We have got a uh, front loader equipment for the case tractor that we've got. Obviously the quick Q5M, we've got a, a uh, manure fork with a grapple we've got a universal bucket and a bale spike and we have a weight for the class tractor so that's the starter equipment let's have a wander around the yard okay so welcome to the farmyard now as you can see we have some free roaming chickens freely wandering clucking around uh, they are obviously ours properly owned we can uh, deal with them and control them from this section in here in this gorgeously old authentic barn as you can see, we've got the animal dialogue there. We can control the chickens from there. And this is where we feed them, in the little trough there. Now, very nicely, we have, uh, as you can see from the info box in the bottom right-hand corner there, we have 16 out of a total capacity of 30, and they do actually have uh, some food already set aside for them. So that's pretty good, so we can hit the ground running with the chickens. Um, now, as I said before, all these doors open from uh, onto the main road. So you can come in and out from the main road, as you can with this one as well. You stop beeping, impatient. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, you can get in and out of the workshop here. Bringing the tractors in now, as, as you can see. 
there's a reason why I kind of said it's for mid, small to medium sized tractors. You couldn't really, I don't, I don't even think you'd get a big tractor in there, would you? You might do it a push, but you'd certainly take the beacon off the roof if it had them. Um, but yeah, in here we have ourselves a vehicle workshop with the trigger nicely uh, stashed away in this little workshop room here, which is brilliant and again accessible from the main street as well, if you so wish. And up we have a cow barn here. Now I have just purchased a couple of cows and I, I, look, I stuck my head in here and I, I was wondering where are they? But wandering around the back here we have this beautiful custom cow pasture so let's just get ourselves through the gate here i just thought this was a bit of wasteland that was going to be free for, free for a bit of uh, construction maybe but no this is for the cows here they are and i think this it just looks amazing it really does because in my mind this is exactly how it'd be it'd be a relatively unkempt field let the cows free to graze in the in the pasture yeah me too so we'll get ourselves back into the yard through the door here and we'll just uh, take a hop over the fence here and get back onto the concrete but yeah we've got a couple of uh, nice little workshop storage areas here as well and you can turn the lights on over here as well can you yeah there we go lovely stuff really nice but don't you think it's just beautiful from what we've seen so far a beautifully authentic old french farmyard now this uh, this starter farm does have does have a couple of quite interesting features about it which i'll point out to you in a minute this, this is our manure spawn area for the cows and the slurry spawn tank as well which i don't think i've ever seen one like this in the game i think these are this is pretty much all custom stuff from ma7 isn't it um very very nice but down here we have uh, a silage bunker again lovely old authentic thing but i just love these little bits of detail around the outside it's obviously an old farm that's been here for a very long time and as you'd expect just lots of stuff lying around that's been accumulated over the years really like that so it's, it's that little attention to detail that makes the big differences in my opinion got a couple more silage bunkers here as well to work with now uh, this is uh, one of our fields i think this is field 99 field of wheat ready to harvest so uh, once you start off you'll be able to hit the ground running get the harvester out and get a crop into the silo if you so wish uh, speaking of the silo i'll pop around here and show you but yeah the, the couple of really interesting features that this uh, farmyard has is it has this automatic bale and pallet storage system so as you can see there we've got the uh, there's a trigger here bale and pallet storage the info box in the bottom right hand corner um so I said, I'll, I'll i'll use easy dev and i'll just show you what it does but if, essentially if i just spawn a round grass bale now forgive me i'm just going to use super strength as well i'll pick that bale up it disappears and there you go it appears neatly stacked here now obviously i can't access them right away what you have to do is wander back over to the trigger here as you can see there in the top left open storage dialogue click on that and i'll just get one of them out there we go now where's that spawned one of them's vanished oh there it is it's spawned over here so yeah really like that and there is the same thing again just around here above the uh, above the front door now the tip point for pallets and bales is right up there now the case tractor that you start off with does come with a front loader it doesn't come with a pallet fork but it's still uh, you can't reach I, I tried I tested this before I spawned a bale in front of me picked it up with a bale spike but that front loader arm can't reach and get the bales up there so if you wanted to make use of this I believe you probably have to fork out some money and get yourself a telehandler uh, with the appropriate uh, pallet fork and bale spikes to fit um, to be able to utilize this bale and pallet storage area but either way regardless it's absolutely brilliant it really is with the uh, with the farmyard being as small and as tight as it is having those automated storage systems in place is a really really helpful thing i feel um so yeah and another wonderful thing a very very nice feature that i like about this starter farm in new farmer mode it comes with a uh, production system so if i pop very quickly into the production chain menu as you can see there the production system that we already own is called farm cheeses and within this production system you can uh, produce butter cheese bread cake and old style mustard and we can make that 
from the mustard that we have growing in the fields one of the uh, special crops for this map but i just one of the things i really like about it is the way that it's the way that it's incorporated into the buildings so this is where you tip your products if needed obviously we open this door and you come in here to the I suppose the workings of the, of the production system and you can manage the production point from in this building but then you come out the, out the front here to the main you've got yourself a shop out the front fromage fermier and this is all part and parcel to do with the building it's part of your farm you just make sure you get one up but yeah so there's the front the main kind of front entrance to the farm we've got this beautiful little farm shop and there's our house so you can come in the front into the shop as you can see we've got all of our cakes and cheese on display and as you would in a relatively typical old world farm shop as well out the back door into the inner workings i really really like that i think it's absolutely brilliant very very well implemented see a bit more storage in here for a bit of equipment and obviously without repeating myself obviously that's the reason why it's small to medium sized equipment you couldn't you'd struggle to get big tractors and especially harvesters around here uh, here is the built-in farm silo which has a capacity of 500,000 litres here's your load point here's your tip point and again yeah small to medium sized stuff <laughs> so I think that's pretty much a, a very brief rundown of the main starter farm now in the uh, in the Oh yeah, we've got a bit of storage here as well with our uh, cultivator, plough and windrower in here. And here is the other access point from the main road. Obviously, this, I'm assuming this is primarily for um, obviously for ease of access and in particular for the combine harvester if you needed to get it out on the road and out to some fields. So, as I say, that's a bit of a relatively brief rundown of the main starter farm. Um, in the in the description on the mod hub, he did specify that there was a another area that you could consider a starter farm. So we'll uh, we'll take a quick trip over there in the pickup truck now, and I'll show you that one. Right, travelling down the road, we've just come out of Polani, according to the road sign. There is so much to show you. There really is, and I'm not. I'm going to try my best not to miss any out, but just the. The way this place feels is absolutely gorgeous. That's where we're heading to, the building up on the hill there. If I jump into the map PDA very quickly, that's where we were. That's our starter farm. We've come down the road, over the roundabout here, past the dealership and down the hill here. And this is where we are. And we're heading to this plot of land here. Uh, because that is where I believe um, MA7 Studios was uh, referring to the second kind of farm land that you can start with if you so wish. Now there doesn't seem to be an actual farmhouse here yet. Um, I think maybe you might have to place down a sleep trigger if you want, but this is it. Let's turn the engine off for that. But what a beautiful building. It really is. Now, I have, uh, I've just thrown a few million quid into the bank account so that I can buy this, because at the minute it's just a, a kind of a non-functioning building. As you can see, there's obviously stuff that does uh, that is meant to happen here, but you can't interact with it because we don't own it. So... Let's jump into the map PDA again. Farmland, this area here. Purchase that for 345,186. It's in dollars, isn't it? But it should be in euros, I suppose. But as you can see, it is now an animal pen. So, popping into here, it's a sheep pen. So, let's pick ourselves up a handful of sheep. Let's buy those. How many does it take? It takes 35 in total. There we go. So. If you wanted to be a sheep farmer, you can. And as you can see, it comes with its own beautiful custom pasture on the outside as well, which I really, really like. What a beautiful thing it really is. But as I say, that's pretty much what there is up here. There's, uh, you're probably free to uh, place down a sleep trigger in front of uh, one of these doors if you so wished. Um, and I did have a good scout around the map, and I'm assuming this is where MA7 Studios was referring to when he said that there was two areas to start with two kind of farms as it were so yeah so that's that can open the gate in here another tip point here for what i assume is uh straw potentially let's just pop back down here and have a look and see what it is that the uh, i'll pop into the animal menu 
which will probably be a bit easier. Into the sheep there, so grass, yeah, so that's probably where we tip our grass, isn't it? Quite possibly. But yeah, absolutely gorgeous. It really is. And I can only assume that that's where we get our wool from. Another beautifully detailed little workshop shed area here. I think this is where the, the light switches are. Yep, there we go. Absolutely gorgeous. It really is. So now we've seen that, let's go take a look at the dealership. Well, before we make it to the uh, dealership, so just come down the bottom of the hill there, we've got this lovely little... Uh, Again, I think I'm going to be overusing the word authentic today in this video, but uh, this lovely little workshop garage, so you can just pull up in your vehicle, fix it if you need be. But how amazing is that? Is that a working fuel pump as well? There we are, refuel. Oh, that's amazing. That really is cool. Love it, absolutely love it. So, we're going to turn left, carry on back where we came from, up the hill, across this beautiful bridge and river. Make our way up to the uh, the class branded dealership that we can just see at the top of the hill here. So, approaching it, which is the way in. Looks like that's the way in, we don't have to make it quite as far as the roundabout, so we hang right here left here. Now I have just purchased this Massey Ferguson tractor just to show you where the vehicles spawn. So that is now ours. But what I didn't appreciate, I mean look at the building for example, custom class dealership. Absolutely gorgeous. Go in here and uh, spend a load of money if need be. But we seem to have access to all of these bits of machinery. They're not for decoration. I Initially, when driving past, I just thought they were decorative objects, but they're not. There's no ownership details that come up. I don't, I don't have any, any vehicles leased. Uh, but I can enter it, I can turn it on, and I can drive about. So if you did suddenly require the use of a slightly bigger tractor, or the telehandler, for example, there's the telehandler that we might be able to borrow to load stuff up into our... Uh, bale pallet storage system now i'm driving the wrong way around the roundabout aren't i but uh, i have turned traffic off because i was getting a bit frustrated with the beeping but we have access to these uh, these bits of kit so that's amazing really helpful and handy uh, feature here on the map let's just test this out for sure i'll just reverse up to this slurry tank Okay, no, can't, I can't seem to use that. I can't seem to do anything with that. Can I use the baler? No, can't use the baler either. <laughs> oh well, either way. I found it a little bit interesting that we could uh, get in the vehicle and drive around. Hey-ho. But anyway, here we have a bit of a uh, another workshop here again. I'm assuming we park our vehicles and implements in this side because this is just a, a Lemkin Carrot 12 that's uh, purely for decoration. But yeah, workshop trigger there. Lovely stuff. What a beautiful building. It really is. So, let's venture onwards. Right, so I thought uh, for the sake of moving forward a bit faster, because otherwise this video is going to be about three hours long, uh, I was going to I'm going to employ jetpack mode just to fly around and dot around a few of the uh, custom cell points and uh, factories and production systems that we got dotted around the map. So this is just so we still got our bearings. We're right next door to the Class dealership here. Um, this is the Vosges Cooperative Agricole, obviously a cell point for your cereal crops and grains but another really cool little role play type thing i suppose you could call it is it has this grain probe so if i bring up the f1 menu at the top there it just says quite simply press circle at this uh, info trigger here to activate the grain probe so if we press that now 
as you'll see it brings that probe down which will stick into the trailer that you'll have behind your tractor uh, and I can only assume that that's for the purposes of um, kind of reading the moisture content of your grain which I think is a really really cool little addition to the map uh, beautiful building obviously custom building by MA7 studio really really nice and obviously from up here as well you can, you can just see get a, a much better scope of the map in general and even over here there's the you know next door to the class dealership just this little uh, settlement this little cul-de-sac of uh, houses absolutely gorgeous it really is oh, that one's got a swimming pool as well and a diving board check that out <laughs> that's pretty cool water looks a bit murky a bit dirty <laughs> so let's uh, speed up a bit and get ourselves over here we've got a building the gray building in the distance there that we're heading towards now is the dairy obviously for selling your milk now you can buy this of course as a production system or the sum total of 70,000 pounds euros dollars so that's excellent and again really nice building custom designed by ma7 studio i believe so onwards and upwards quite literally that's our sheep barn there if you wanted to be a sheep farmer and over here we have one of the train points now we have the train rental point here let's come back down to earth with a bump and the top corner there rent a train for 500 pounds an hour it's a costly affair isn't it but uh, as you can see there we've got the load and tip point there for the train and up here is where you would tip your grain into the silo in order to transfer it over into the train so that's excellent but a really really nice really detailed building as well for that now I believe over here as well, this is also for loading uh, logs and wood onto the train as well. So you've got these lovely little uh, chamfered areas here so you can essentially tip your logs, stack them on here so you can get your uh, grab fork over them and under them, which is a very, very well thought out little thing. Excellent attention to detail. Just the bridge there as well, it's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Quick look at the fields over here. Now, what we also do have, there's a couple of these around the map as well. You have this, uh, these little areas of land here as well. Um, these are animal pens. So if we were to purchase this one here, where are we? Let's go onto the map. So if we click on farmland, click on this, we buy that. There we go. So this is a pasture for cows. So you can have, uh, you're not just uh, restricted to the cow barn that you have on the uh, at the farm there. You've got this one here. There's a sheep one that is a little bit further away. If I rem remind myself, where's that one? That's this one here, isn't it? So if we were to purchase this plot of land here. There we go. Yep. There's a pasture for sheep. So that's excellent as well. And here's the train. It's got a, a good mix of uh, grain carts. And it also has... The log trailers as well at the back beautiful thing and the via the, the viaduct as well passing across the map absolutely gorgeous work of art it really is really really nice so up here what have we got up here so this i believe this one in front of us is the animal dealer i think if i remember correctly yes that looks like the animal dealer yeah, animal dialogue. So there. So obviously from here you can, uh, regardless of which pastures you own, you can add or remove animals to the pastures that you own from here. So that's excellent. Again, beautiful building. Nicely set into the trees at the top of the map here. And this area now, MA7 did uh, put in the detail on in the text on the mod hub there that there is an area to build your own farm. Um, and I can only assume that this is the area he's referring to because I haven't been able to find any empty plot of land, as it were, on the map apart from this little bit here. Uh, so I can only assume that this is what this area of land is intended for. Um, now, flying a bit further down over here, what have we got? This one here is another one of the cell points, the souffle agriculture. And again, with the added little uh, lovely bit of detail, the grain probe there. 
again repeating myself multiple times here but beautiful building absolutely gorgeous it's incredible the amount of work that's gone into this map it really is so flying over what i believe to be the biggest field on the map this one here field 82 uh, this jumping into the map pda very quickly field 82 where are we here we are so this has an area of 9.83 hectares and at a cost of 608,514 pounds or euros or dollars so uh Quite an expensive one. We'll just have a quick look at the cost of some of the other areas of land here. So this uh, strip field here, number 70, 277,506. Uh, going right down to the, what I believe is the smallest one there, just under 20,000 for that. Um, let's just pick them at random here. 187,620 for uh, field 28 there. Field 29, 541. So a good range of prices. Let's pick a smaller one there, 86,000. Strip field there, 110,000. So yeah, a wide range of prices and costs for the field work for the fields that you might want to buy. So flying over here, this I believe is the sawmill. Now this has another interesting feature. Um, now MA7 did, he, he described it in the text as, um, I'm just trying to find it, I'm looking for the text now. Described it as a crane for moving wood about. Now, essentially, what I believe you would do is you'd, you'd come up to here with your logs, you approach this, you activate the dock, and as you see, that you'll load your wood onto this ramp, and it'll push the pile of logs up the ramp, up here, to this uh, conveyor, which is a really, really cool detail. And then you come up to here, and you'll sell your wood. Now, there you go, then we'll push the logs onto the wheels there, and sell your wood. That will run along through the factory here, up and out onto this conveyor belt, be turned into chips and get tipped into this wood chip uh, silo here. I think that's also really, really cool. And again, a beautiful custom building. It really is. So, where next? Let's head away down to this beautiful factory that's got the big old authentic and quite ornate water wheel look at that honestly absolutely amazing so this over here if i find the right trigger where are we there we are this production point is the son frere mill for eight hundred thousand pounds Again, another sell point and production system if you want to purchase that. Quite costly. If you might be able to afford that over time. We've got down here. Open the gate. Oh wow, excellent. So, yeah, the innards of your uh, production system if you were to own it. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So. I think, I mean, obviously we've got, in, as you can see there, we have a, uh, a good old BGA. Deal with all our grass and silage work over here. With a couple of big bunkers as well. And a Weybridge, Bridget with a digital readout on it. Very, very nice. And we also have a, uh, a custom water tower over here. If you want you to, uh, to get hold of any water for your animals, you can come to here and pick it up. Which is excellent. And also, there is another custom water point, which I will uh, endeavour to try and find for you. Tucked away. Over here somewhere. It's by the river. So that'll be a good clue as to where it's going to be. I saw it before. But trying to find it again, knowing my luck, it'll be completely lost. <laughs> Where are we? Ah, I think it's down here, if I remember correctly. There we go. Yeah, it's another water well. Just see the uh, the info point there. So you can uh, come down this really quite beautiful looking track down to the down to the river's edge. And this is going into the menu. Where are we? There we go. So that is a well for buying water. So that's excellent. 
really, really nice. So let's uh, take a quick fly over over the town. Now this is another tip point and sell point. Let's have a look where we are now. So this is Kochi Express and the bakery. So as you can see there, we can come up to this trigger here, buy the production point. That's the bakery. That's fifty thousand pounds, euros, dollars. And this would be the tip point for that bakery, the Boulangerie Livraison, which I'm assuming means bakery deliveries. That's where you'd put your stuff if you own the place, and this is where you tip it if you don't, and you're just selling it to there. So, excellent stuff. Now, what a beautiful town, though. It really is. So, over here, we are now over the next to the iso straw and the carpentry production point so again going to the info trigger here this should be oh that's for selling the wood okay it's the usual tip points there can't seem to oh there it is there we go there we go that's what we're after that's the uh, carpentry by production point sixty thousand pounds for the carpentry excellent stuff and I think, oh no, we've got another one over here. Just check out the map. Landscaper and silo for lime. Right, okay, so if you needed to buy your lime from somewhere, this is where you would come. And you can ref oh, you can refill this silo, okay. So at your own cost, you can refill that. There we go. Oh, I see. So it's just the silo, so you'd, uh, you'd have to buy the lime yourself, but this is where you would... Uh, Come to get it essentially and again we've got a tip point here this is the landscaper tip point sell point which i believe going into the uh, products menu here is for wood chips there we go yeah i think that is just for wood chips okie dokie here we are again just above our starter farm the main central farm in the center of the town here now we also have Referring back to the custom animal pets, the custom animal patches that we uh, picked up on before, directly opposite, if the capacity of the cows that we have down here, which I believe is 110, if I remember correctly, yeah, this cow barn that's within our farm here can hold 110 cows. But if that, if you wanted more, you could purchase this big plot of land here, which we we'll, we will do right now. So, where are we? Lost my bearings again. So. We've got the same here, so we can buy that and buy this one as well that's next to it. And we have another pasture for cows and pasture for sheep. So you can increase your cow and sheep capacity if you so wish. This is the cow one here, again, really nicely laid out. And this is the sheep one just over here. Very nice. So... I think that's uh, a reasonably detailed but relatively quick at the same time rundown of uh, the map overall uh, it is an absolute beauty forgive me i know that's probably like the 105th time i've said that in this video but it is an absolute work of art the level of detail and the the atmosphere that this place produces is is so authentic it really is i for one i'm definitely going to be having a bit of a go on this map at some point how can I not? Now, obviously, I know I, I, I briefly mentioned it when I was reading the uh, the text from the from the, the stuff that MA7 has written for the map on the Mod Hub. Uh, there was one point, uh, a secret quest about the history of a funny animal from the Vosges. Uh, now, obviously, I've not uh, I've not even attempted to try and find or locate any of the clues for that because that's obviously something a bit a bit unique and a bit special. So I've left that out for uh, each of us to find in our own time if we so wish. Uh, but I do hope that this uh, map tour has given you a bit of a, a, an idea of just how beautiful this map is and how much very worth playing it. I think it really is. It's an absolute work of art. So, thank you very much for watching the video, everyone. I really do hope you have uh, enjoyed the video and uh, found it even remotely fun and interesting. Uh, there will be links in the video description below to the map download from the giants mod hub uh, as always if you're new to my channel and you like my content you like the way i'm doing things please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining the channel uh, jumping on board giving the video a like if you can if you have liked it of course 
And as always, there are a host of links in the video description below with my Giants Partner promo code. If any of you are in the market for purchasing a DLC, an add-on, a season pass, or even the full game itself, and you like the idea of helping the content creator out at the same time, I would be massively appreciative. Thanks again for your time, everyone watching the video. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.